Several laws in the Old Testament deal with cleanness and uncleanness. Now it's not just talking about how tidy you keep your house, although that might be a good way to think about this concept. Cleanness and uncleanness in the Bible isn't talking about sin, it's talking about holiness. It's not a sin for your children to have toys scattered all over the living room floor, but when you have company coming over, you clean up. You have them pick up their toys because you want your guests to enjoy spending time in a clean home. It's the same way with God's house. In the Old Testament, the tabernacle was God's house. And if a person was going to enter or even come near the tabernacle, he had to be clean. Again, it wasn't so much talking about sin, it was talking about holiness. It was talking about the appropriateness of being in God's presence. God is so perfect and holy that we should present our very best self to Him. But today we often treat God as if He'll accept us no matter how we live. We need to get back to this concept of striving for holiness in the way that we live. You know, we can't do that perfectly. We're always going to need God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ to forgive us when we fail, and we will fail. But always remember that God is holy and forgives our sin not so that we can continue in sin, but so that we can be holy and clean in everything that we do.